Thursday. We thought since we came to you in the past few weeks from different places like uh, Sheep Meadow and Outer Space and uh, Jungle, we thought maybe we would come to you from our backyard today. So here we are in the beautiful fresh air. I was wondering if you all have any fun plans for the long weekend ahead. I hope to go on a nice, long, physically distanced from other hikers hike. Right now, I just want to, I, I could want to hike in Minecraft. A hike in Minecraft. Yes, hmm. definitely. What do you want to do this weekend? Watch YouTube. Watch YouTube. Yeah. Let's see who wins. Township. Okay, we're going to start with a song. been the best part of your week so far? <laughs> Laughing at their mother. <laughs> What's been the not so great part of your week? Why don't you share with the other people in your we household? Up on Monday morning. <laughs> we have a very special story this week. Not only did is Kayleen reading the story, but she wrote it. I hope you enjoy it. Dominion Overall by Kayleen Cambites, with help from special guest artist Tony Cambites. Special thanks to my dad for his extra help and talent. Look at this planet. What do you see? You'll see the destruction of forests and trees. Our air is polluted, our water's a muck. Fixing these issues will take a lot more than luck. The state of our planet is truly a shame, and I'm sad to say, but humans are to blame. While prioritizing the profit of every nation, we forgot to consider the rest of creation. Without the rainforest, where would I be? I rely on virtually all that you see. The trees provide me with shelter and food. Without them, I'd have so much to lose. The lush canopy keeps me safe from harm. When I'm on the ground, I feel rather alarmed. Deforestation threatens all that you see. What would this mean for creatures like me? My world is burning, and the thought of it sends my stomach churning. I like my habitat warm and wet, but forest fires are a bit too hot for me yet. With droughts drying up my special pond, I'm not really sure how to respond. Sea levels are on the rise, but swimming there would not be wise. With agricultural sprawl and invasive plants, I have good reason for these little rants. I fear that I'm running out of space. Soon I'll have nowhere else to consider my home base. Noise pollution is a threat. It creates an inescapable audible net. Many do not realize that noise pollution is a thing. It comes from shipping vessels and the oil that they bring. With all this noise pollution, it's difficult to hear. 
all my friends and loved ones whenever they are near. It also makes it difficult for me to get around. I wish those silly ships would go up on the ground. Although our ivory is beautiful to see, we really wish that you would just let it be. Our tusks belong here on our face, not as a decoration for your space. Although it's possible to bring us back, on these reservations we feel rather packed. We fear that we too are running out of space, as more infrastructures are being built for the human race. Although I can't speak for God, I feel as though it's safe to assume that God would be disappointed by all of this gloom and doom. From the top of the mountain to the bottom of the sea, God gave us dominion over all that we see. From the largest elephant to the tiniest flea, we've been given dominion over all, but what does that mean? Some say that this means the world was created for us to do as we please no matter who makes a fuss. Some say that the world was created at our disposal, but to this I say I have a new proposal. If God made each being perfect and unique, then why would he give them to us to defeat? God's scriptures are filled with stories of love, but we fail to remember this theme from above. Love is not selfish or of a limited quantity. We must work together to see all of creation's wonderful qualities. Therefore, I believe that these creatures were placed in our care. The love that God gives us is for us to share. Extend it to all of his creation, both far and wide, for God made us all with loving pride. So what was your favorite part of the story? Was there anything you have questions about? Why don't you talk to the people in your house about that? Now it's time for another song. This one's a little more mellow, a little slower, but um, see how many ASL signs you can remember. We're doing the Lord's Prayer, and remember when we say Father, Father, well that's God, and this is Father. And then we have Heaven. Let's see how many we remember and sing along.
let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for some beautiful spring days. Thank you for flowers and sunshine. Thank you also for the things that we say now. We're sorry when we cause frustration or we show anger. We're also sorry for the things we say now. Please bless us as our school years are starting to come to a close and we think about what kind of things we want to do this summer. Be with us all. Amen. Okay, before we do our last song, you remember it's time to do our blessing. So please make the sign of the cross on your forehead or your hand. Very good demonstration. Thank you. And say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless you and keep you. <laughs> now it's time for our last song. You remember it? The words are easy. Holly, holly, hallelujah. This time we're going to do it kind of fast. Here we go. Holly, holly, hallelujah. Holly, holly, holly. Hallelujah, halle, 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 One more time. Halle, 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 halle,